So the first thing that happens, you go to your car and you've got a flat tire. What do you do? We're going to run through from start to finish and let's go for it. Mal's back talking Tesla. To see the enhancements made to my Tesla and how to update yours, please subscribe to the channel and you can message me with suggestions or for help. The first thing you want to do is you need a pump of some description. I use the show me because it's very small. Now the problem is that if you have the standard Tesla tyres, you may not be able to get it fixed and you'll need a new tyre. It depends on the company. Some will fix it, some will say because it's got the foam, you can't do it. So basically, I'm lucky because last year I had a new tyre replaced and they didn't have a foam, they only had a regular tyre. I've not noticed any difference in degradation of sound, but I can now take it to the garage and hopefully they'll just fix the slow puncture and I will be on my way. Tesla talking with Mal. Well, I couldn't repair the tyre because it, it's, the screw is right on the end of the rim, so it can't be repaired. So I went to a further five garages, and it's not much fun driving around on the on the tyre that keeps flattening, and you've got to keep charged, pumping it up. Um, five different garages, no one stocks the Tesla's tyres, and I was stuck until next Wednesday when they can get them in. I managed to speak to Kipling Pro Tyres, and they said, yes, we can get the tyre in. So I'm going to go there at £170, not bad. They said to me, I must bring this jack pad with me. And without it, they weren't going to do it. Because the jack pad, what that does is under the car, it fits under like so. And your jack pad fits into the center of it. It doesn't damage the bodywork. It doesn't slip off. Can't damage the battery. Everything's good. Now, all links to these, both of these units, the show me and the pad, are going to be in the description. The cheapest place I found the pad is £4.28 on Amazon. Um, I'll leave you that link and you can get it the next day, but always have it in the back of the car, keep it in the boot somewhere, and then you just give it to the guys and you've got that and peace of mind, they can't damage your battery because it's quite expensive if the battery goes. So that's what we're gonna do there, that's, that's no problem. So I'm off to the, the tire company now and I'm gonna speak to the manager. Um, way because I wanna find out what he thinks of the Tesla, if he's done any of these cars, and B, they do MOTs. And I don't know what would happen with a Tesla with MOT. So their questions I'll be asking, we need to find those out. And then finally, we're gonna look at Mark. Mark is the fitter, nice guy, and he'll show us start to finish with the tire, which is great, but there's a few tips on the way that can protect the sensor. Something else I didn't know. So you don't know either, you're gonna find this out. Let's go to Pro Tires now and ask Paul, how long has he been working here? So I've been here sort of about two years now. I've been in the, in the motor trade since I was 16. I've worked for Michigan, I've worked for Goodyear, so your sort of tires are my thing, to be honest. With Teslas, have, hmm. have you had any dealings with them? Obviously we do, we do tires on them, not that regularly, but we do, we do do them. Which we do your model and we do the Tesla X as well. Oh, yeah. With an MOT, hmm. what do you have to do that's different to, because there was no engine in it? The only thing that's different is obviously the um, to test emissions. That's, this is the only difference. Still got to check the brakes, the steering, the suspension, the lights, the wipers. So it's a good place to come. Absolutely. They're in the fight, they were. Do not think the wheel looks better without that cover on? Yeah, I think it does. <laughs> but. The cover saves you 10, 15 miles of range. Does it really? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. So, uh, that's why I keep them on. What's wrong with the tyre then? That you change, what's the reason you're changing it? There's a screw right in the back there, there. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> and you put uh, tape over it. <laughs> to try and keep it from going down. <laughs> I've never seen that before. <laughs> it worked. Did it? It kept it down from going right quick. Excellent. Right, let's go over it and get the tyre saved you. Going to release the air out of it. Okay. Is there any precautions once you pump up the tyre? Yeah. From it popping and exploding, is, is there a... Not really. No, no. It's, it can only go one way. It can't. It, if you put too much air in it, it won't blow up. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Much 
Better than the old tire lever days. Oh, yes. <laughs> right, I like to always put the, the valve door underneath my arm. Join the goose for the sensor. When you, if you put the bar in it, and it's round here, the way the tire comes off, it will pull and break the sensor off. Okay. There's a method to madness. <laughs> so there's a sensor in there, is yeah. there? Right. Yeah, just here. Okay. Oh yeah, that's what we call a TPMS. That's how it measures and uh, and uh, reads your air pressure to let you know whether you've got a puncture or not. You know. So that's how that works. Yeah. Sometimes they flash for a reason. Um, saying there's a puncture when there's nothing is actually the little battery just low. What batteries do they take? They're like a little um, the flat battery, like a watch battery. So then they have to take the tire off and put it on. Yeah. That's a pain, isn't it? Yeah. But. Get you out of trouble. The interesting thing is, with the car, you won't let you drive when it gets to about 10 or 15 pounds. The car can't it drive. Won't. No. no. Oh, that's good. You're, you're completely stuck. That's good, though. Well, it is, it isn't. You're, yeah, you said you're stuck. Because if the tyre is no good, you don't mind wrecking it. Do you know what I mean? To get you to where you're going. I've done that many times. So I'll just put a bit of tyre paste on there just to make it slippery so the tyre will slip on nice and easy without causing too much aggravation. I always have the sensor about 3 o'clock, just after. So I can put my arm down comfortably without causing any damage to the teeth of legs. Two and a half years, tyre fitting anyway. How many tyres do you reckon you fitted in that tyre? Thousand. Nice. Thousand. Those screws, how do they get into the tyre like that? What happens? I don't know. If, if, your, if your tyre pressure is, is low, then uh, it, it gives it enough room for the screw to actually puncture it. But if they're solid, rock solid, then nine times out of ten they'll just go over it and it won't affect it, you know? That's why it's important to keep an eye on your tyre pressure. What tyre are you fitting for us today? It's a Michelin Primacy 4. It's a special fitment for Tesla. Most tyres uh, have their own fitments for certain brands of cars like Mercedes or Audis. So what is the advantage to this tyre for Tesla? What have they done to this tyre? It's just, just, what it is is just the, the size of the rim. Right. It's uh, fractionally different to others. That's why it's, they seal better. They hold the seal better. Hold the tyre pressure, you know? That's all it is really. So what are the different, what's the advantage of the foam? Because I've not found it kind of quiet. The foam, the foam is in the, inside there, purely because when the tyre rolls, it creates a bit of noise. But when there's foam in there, it quietens it down, it just dampens it a bit. That's all it is. It's not, it doesn't do any spectacular miracle or anything like that. It's not, <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, it's going to balance it, you know? Part of the old weights. So it gets a true reading. You measure it either end, put the hood down, and it will spin it and it will work out with lasers and uh, what weights it tells you what weight to put where. So this needs 10, 10 grams here. I'll use a black weight. And give it a little clean. Quite clean up. You couldn't do the whole car, could you? <laughs> <laughs> and then it's saying it needs 50, it needs 50 grams this side. And these, these actual sticks come in uh, about 60 grams. So it makes it nice and easy. What I might do though, because I've had such trouble trying to get tyres, is get myself a complete spare one, then I can do the old fashioned idea of changing it, and then I can actually 
once I've changed it, I've got I can bring your one in and get it fit any time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. Because I think the problem is with these no tires and spares yeah, stuff. That's right. Especially the motorway, you could actually change the reel over. Yeah. Take it with you, keep it in the boot. That's right. And that okay, all good. Hey. Right. Next step is to get it back on the car. That's the fun bit. The fun bit, you can get back on your way. <laughs> They look better without the trims on, don't they? They do, yeah. They do, yeah. I've seen one driving past yesterday without the trims on it. And it, it, looked, it looked much better. Okay. Okay. So, that's where you put it in. You, you put those... So you I, I, it's just me personally. I tend to start at the top, because then it stops it manoeuvring a belt. Okay. And it gives me a chance to get the others on. When I tighten them, I always do one and miss one. Either side usually to say that it goes on straight. And that is that. And that's it. Oh. Well at least you know that these can't be done with the jack, your particular jack. Yeah, you have to have those jacking blocks. And you have to have it in the ramp, otherwise you couldn't get underneath the car. That's what most jacks don't. Right, so what happens to damage you do if you didn't have the jacking block on the battery then? Well, I think for a new battery for this car is about 10 grand. And uh, I've got the board that. <laughs> so it's always important to make sure you have these little babies. Always. So, uh, shut that down. Go and get my torque bar, torque it up to the correct torque, and uh, then you can go. You'll be on your way. What's the correct torque for these vehicles? Uh, 175 newton meters of torque. So uh, I'm just going to set that up on my little dial here. And uh, get you on. Why do they do that nowadays then? What, what's my change? Do they now have to use torque? Because each car has different power. You know, so obviously with the power, the faster it is, and the more stress it comes under. So the last thing we need is for you to go off, go away, and the wheel to come off, and then for it to come back. It's because it's happened before, uh, where someone's not told the wheels, they've gone down the road, down the motorway, the wheels come off, cause an accident, killed someone. Wow. So it's very, very important to make sure you do this. And then. Do we need to come back and you check it again for us? Or no, what? no, no. Once it's once it's been torqued, once it's at that setting, that's it. Until they get until the nuts get taken off again, it's fine. Okay. All right. So let's get your trim on. You can see the difference in the car before the trim and after the trim. <laughs> the only disadvantage I don't like about this is that the wheel, the um, this is so close, it's not protected by the tire. Yeah. You can easily curve you it. You can get a different tire. With, and it will come with, it's like a rim protector. Oh, right. There's a slight, the, the tyre comes out slightly and overlap a little bit. So it may be worth checking out one of them tyres next time. And would that be okay for the Tesla? Yeah, yeah. They, each tyre brand will have their own fitment for each tyre car. Okay, and All what, right. what manufacturer are they again? Uh, Pirelli's or Bridgestone. They're, they're the, my two favourites. Uh, we sell quite a lot of them. And uh, they're, they're quite the top top brands as well, so you know you're getting your money's worth. But they would have the protector. And does that make, because it's got the protector, does it make it less vulnerable to take? It does, yeah. Usually the tyre takes the brunt of the kerb. So uh, uh, just to try and help prevent that. It doesn't always, but it, it's, until you get it gone, you'll be on your way, all right? Okay, thank you. No worries. So exciting how every detail works. And don't forget, if you subscribe to the channel, you will be, and hit that notification bell, you will be one of the first to get it, so that's worth doing. This is where I need you to help me, hopefully. Um, if you can subscribe, and I can get to a thousand subscribers, that's the trick-off point, by Christmas, there will be a few giveaway prizes for Model X, S, Y, and 3. If with your help that could happen, thank you very much for that. So whatever you're doing on the rest of the day, please enjoy. And I shall look forward to seeing you on the next one. Until then, I'll be seeing you.
Thanks for watching and do tell us in the comments section that you subscribed and we can then contact you if you're the winner when the prize is drawn. Quack, quack. Oops.